I'll have a go. A tang. Baby oil. Using any old thread that I can get my hands on. I've waxed it well. Use I have some what's called tacky wax. I'm going to be sticking this dubbin to it. And it's wiry sort of dubbing, so it's gonna have a nice silver rib to keep it all together. And just tie that in any old way. And I suppose I can use the rib to control the spacing of my threads. Now this is going to be a, a raggy old fly. Putting a bit too much pressure on my thread there, you can see it's segmenting a little bit. But that's not going to be too bad. Okay, first bit of dubbing. Is this stuff black, fiery black? I can't read it back the front and the lens, fiery black. So, you don't take too much. I'm just going to dub this on. Move it up, get control of my loop, and don't want it to be too tight because I want the rib to dig into this a little bit. Right. Come about halfway up, and, and then I am going to make that quite tight just to give it. more turn there and then I take them all off as best I can I've probably taken enough off there to make another fly and dum -dum -dum, get it all under control and just In terms of how far I come up, I take it about halfway. Again, threads hanging down somewhere in about the hook. Of the bit that's left, if you call that five tenths halfway up, I've got too much here, so I have. This is just any old red dubbing that I've got, it's quite fine. Again, get it up, get control. One more turn should be enough. It's quite a big red spot. Okay, that's okay. Back to our black. Ok, 
Okay. Right, I'm just going to trim off some of the bigger fibers before I bring in my rib. Right, and ribs be more the other way around. And this is just to keep everything in place. Hang on to me string. Let me couple that off. And give it a bit of a tidy up. Now, I want to give it some legs, a bit of hackle. Now, I've taken, you're not going to see that. And you're not. I've taken half this hackle off because I don't want it to be overly crowded. In, pull it back. If I can find the waste piece to trim it off, I will. And then there go pliers. I have them. Just a couple of wraps. And of course whenever you're dealing with all this stuff you've got to work the camera a couple of times okay that'll do I'm just going to come underneath that and pick it all up it'll all look a bit messy but something there somewhere that I can trim off if I can find it that's it and I'm just going to give that a very quick whip finish What I want to find is my super duper dubbing brush, lollipop stick with a bit of velcro stuck on it, and I'm just going to pull that back. fly that I will be more than happy to fish I don't know what you are sticking in front of me <laughs> needs a dab of varnish but I like trailing those nice and slow along the Lincoln underneath the water that's it, hold on